Hello, friends, and welcome to Escaping the Mouse with your host, me, Breck Roll. All right, we're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to shoot this video a little bit out of sequence and then reconnect it properly in editing. So you're going to get to see kind of a little behind the scenes how you can manipulate video and make things that happen before other things seem like they happen after things. Uh, you understand? No, I don't really either. Hopefully it'll make more sense when we go along. Basically, the point is... Uh, you, most of this video today is video I actually shot yesterday, which is my last day in California. But as you can see, I'm back in Texas now. So while the first segment and the last segment of this video were going to be a little bit out of sequence from the way they were shot. Because as you can see, I'm clearly back in Texas right now. Uh, but the next couple scenes are actually going to be shot in California. So, you know, that's just the magic of uh, video editing. So anyway, first thing I wanted to do, um, I found out yesterday right before I left that my parents' house is now officially on sale and that they've got it staged and they're doing open houses. In fact, I just heard from my sister yesterday that they've got, what, six or seven offers right now. So we might have a little bit of bidding war going on there. But I know I mentioned a about a month or two ago when I walked through the house that that was probably going to be my last time in the house. Well, since the house was available, I decided to go take a look of the at the house. Now that it's all cleaned up, that it's been painted a little bit inside, and that it's staged for sale. So let's start off by doing that. All right, so uh, I know I said a few weeks ago that it was probably going to be the last time I was going to get to walk through my uh, parents' house, but... I am leaving for Texas uh, later on today and I got a couple hours to blow and I'm told the house has been cleaned out and staged and uh, so I decided I was going to come by and look at it one final time. So apparently they pressure washed the outside to make it look really nice out here. Cleaned up the, uh, the planter in the front a little bit, looks really nice. And we're gonna go in and take a look at this place. One last time. I think I'm supposed to put little booties on there, but whatever, it's my house, so. Yeah, definitely looks a little different in here since they cleaned it up. Got everything out of here. You know, all this stuff here now is just uh, the stuff the stagers put in. I remember this well from when they did this at my house. Cleaned up my mom's garden window a little bit. See, that'd be a really nice place to like put like a uh, an herb garden or something like that. Looks really nice in here. Now I'm told that they only painted out in the front part of the uh, house here. And so, yeah, this was kind of a, a pinkish color in here, you may recall before. They didn't even paint in here. This is still the original color in here. Got all the windows open, let all the light in here. But see, you know, the, you know, I'm kind of, kind of sad they didn't even like try and cover up this, you know, all the holes in the wall and stuff like that. But according to, according to my mom, the realtor said that, uh, Typically what they what a person does is when they come into a house that they're looking at they make their decision whether they're interested in the house in the first 80 seconds so you know this is the first impression would be would be what they see in here And then as we go down the hall you know they've cleaned up uh, in here a little bit I guess they did actually clean up the you know, paint in here a little bit because this this wall here was all torn up because of the pictures that when they came out, kind of pulled out a whole bunch of the drywall. You know, this was my off my dad's office in here. You remember how full this was a few days ago or a couple weeks ago? And of course, my bedroom when it was my house. And then it turned into my mom's office after I moved out.
They kind of staged the master bedroom a little different. My parents uh, always had their bed against this window, but this isn't actually a bad way to do it. Although this is a queen size bed, I'm not sure how that would work with a king size bed. It's actually kind of nice this way, but you know, you really almost need to need to do it this way if you're going to have a, a king size bed in here. Hey everyone. Just in case anyone thought that the camera was floating around by itself. It isn't. It's me in here. I remember they did all sorts of this kind of stuff in uh, my house too. Just all these uh, interesting little knickknacks that, you know, all the little sayings that make you feel really happy and positive and upbeat. So see, this is my mom's TV room. Doesn't look very different at all, except looks like they cleaned the floors a little bit, which probably needed to happen. But you know, I'm assuming that they, they realize that you buy this house, you're gonna have to come in and repaint the colors you like. And you know, I kind of learned the hard way that when I painted my house, and you know, it's, I painted it one time and then the realtor says, oh yeah, you gotta do it a different color. And then I'm sure when the people who bought it came in, they, uh, you know, decided to paint it again a third time. So, you know, that's just the way it works. I don't know why they didn't leave a, a plate on there, but whatever, that's someone else's issue. Water heater, you remember that, right? We did a, did a vlog on that a while back. All the cabinet space in here. This used to be the furnace in here, but when we moved the furnace into the attic, my dad kind of turned this into more storage, so it kind of became a linen cabinet for my mom. So yeah, I guess this is the real, real final time I'm going to be walking around in here. Because probably by the next time I'm here, this house will be sold. Hope they get some good money for it. All right, so here we are out in the garage. I was told actually everything was cleaned out in here, but I see that uh, my uh, dad's Christmas lights are still here. And I guess those are the drapes from the uh, dining room. They probably took them down for the, for the purpose of the uh, of the showing. Oh, it looks like we've managed to get a few uh, inspections in here, too. Yeah, I remember that, too. You got to do a bunch of termite inspections and foundation inspections. So, yeah, that, that's all new. Or most of that is new. I did a little of that, too. Left some uh, extra tile from different things in the house. So if you need to repair a piece of tile, you know, that's where you go. Uh, all this stuff that my dad drew on the uh, on the wall. This is like all the stuff for all of his cars over the years. Part numbers and stuff like that. That's kind of a trip. Never remember seeing that because I was always covered up with stuff. There's always a big refrigerator here. And then one final walk in the backyard. I don't think this is going to be a whole lot different back here because... You know, probably not a lot to change back here. About the only thing I'm seeing right now, we used to have a little barricade here to keep Flash in here. Yeah, I kind of cleaned everything out back here. There used to be like a, a table out here. My mom always liked to have really interesting and flowering plants out here, so it's kind of interesting to see what we find back here. Yeah, I'm completely empty out back here. This is uh, where Flash used to live. 
Now this probably was the last time I'll ever be in this house because next time I'm in California, in all likelihood, it's gonna be a, it's gonna have been sold. So it was a good chance to walk through there. I'm glad I did it. It was fun to see everything one last time, see it all cleaned up, kind of, you know, in its ready to sell state. And the only other thing I've got going on today is my trip back to Texas. And I didn't really shoot a whole lot in the airport, but I did do a little bit of. Uh, of uh, scenery uh, on the takeoff and landing. in Dallas going up the escalator to ride the Skylink to Terminal E. I uh, took off from Terminal E and came back from Terminal D so this is definitely the most efficient way to get around Dallas so we did this before and it was kind of cool. Here it comes. Please do not block the doors. Allow people to exit. Pushy ain't he? Yeah, five minutes later, I'm in an entirely different terminal. Not bad. So anyway, as you can see, I am back home again. I uh, had a good night's sleep last night and uh, ready to tackle what comes next. So I think that's all that I have for today. Thank you as always for watching, and I will see you next time on Escaping the Mouse. Good night.